Hello everyone, Gomrath here, <laughs> looking super serious out in Grizzly Hills, one of my favorite areas in the game. I just want to come somewhere with pretty music to talk about the best pets from every family. Now this is subjective, a little bit of it is based off of an article on Wowhead, uh, which I'll leave a, or a link for in the description below, but dragons and that's that's what I'm up to now is dragons and dragons are stinking awesome I love them um, and there's a bunch of them that are really great if you've seen my safari videos around the world a lot I, I mention every single dragon basically it's like oh it's a dragon type pick it up they have an incredibly strong uh, I usually say racial but I, I'm not sure what else to describe it as, but it's uh, dragons deal 50% additional damage on the next round after bringing a target's health below 50%. Uh, it's just really, really strong. So the first pet I want to talk about is the Bronze Whelpling. Now the Bronze Whelpling is a rare drop from mobs out in the Blasted Land. And you can, it's actually a really easy pet to farm. It's one of the few pets the world drops that I went and farmed because it's one of the highest drop rates. You will pick up one about every 30 minutes if you're just running around. You combine that with the bear tartar, uh, the food, this stuff right here, where after killing uh, an enemy, you get a sprint. It's like a five second sprint or something. It just makes running around and farming low level mobs so stinking easy. So I'd recommend snagging that. But what makes this guy great is he comes on an SS breed. And he's really fast for a dragon type. Most dragon types are slow, like way, way slow. Uh, 260 is not that slow. 244. Yeah, 244. If it's a power, power breed, they always roll on the slow side of speed because they have normalized health. So this guy rolls in at 325, which honestly is not that fast compared to some of the other faster pets in the game, but for a dragon type, he's really fast. And he can outspeed like every single pet that's not an SS breed. And so he's got a really nice combo here where he's got a Crystal Prism, which acts as kind of a two round stun. So you stun them, you do damage to them uh, the next turn, and then you do damage to them again and then they can do damage to you so it's it's pretty strong um especially on an ss breed and then you have a control like a, a dodge with liftoff so he's just really good i'd recommend the speed speed breed it's just really conducive to his kit and running arcane slash you deal bonus damage if you go first so uh really solid pet one worth farming for uh, Chromineus. Okay, I've talked about him in other videos. If you collect pets, you definitely have him. So, really briefly, he's just incredibly strong. He's got a giant heal. He's got a Howl Surge of Power combo, which will just, like, destroy most pets except magic-type pets um, in one hit. You can also roll Ravage and get all your health back after killing critters, and he's just a stinking tank, you know, with almost uh, 1,650 health. So... He drops from Blackwing Lair, and you can pick him up on the auction house for just a couple thousand gold. Uh, Emerald Proto Whelp, I've mentioned him before in my best pets of Northrend. He is really strong for this combo right here. This is what most people run. He's just, he can outlast a lot of pets. With Emerald Presence, it makes it so that you take like almost no dot damage, um, especially multi turn attacks are really reduced. And he's got a very hard hitting dragon type move over here with breath and magic type move with emerald bright emerald bite so he's really versatile in what you can roll with and then a giant heal with uh, emerald dream so a really great pick to snag now um the second group of pets here i've also talked about because two of these are wild caught pets uh nether fur dragons just incredible pets like use them all the time absolutely love them they're just so great. This one I named Sherpa because I think Sherpa is the name of those uh, like natives who like take you up into the mountains, you know, to like climb Mount Everest and stuff. They're just guides. Because this guy I use all the time in lower or leveling up lower level pets. And what makes him great is life exchange. He also has a dodge. He can roll the power power breed and the speed speed breed. I'd recommend picking up one of each. And just overall incredible. Can't say enough good things about him. Um, last pet I wanted to mention in the top six is Eula. 
Uh, she's the last celestial pet I'm gonna mention. I don't really use Chi Chi very often, or uh, what's his name? Like Nao Zhao. It's the it's the calf pet that looks like a little yak, but Chi Chi is is pretty great. So she has very high power and very high speed for a power speed breed, but that reflects in her very little amount of health. Now. What I've been running with her whenever I use her is I usually run Celestial Blessing, Life Exchange, and Breath. You can also run uh, Jade Fire, Lightning, it's a pretty strong AoE, and just alternate between casting these two. So, and then when you're low health, use Life Exchange. But really, really great pet, and she looks super pretty. I love the, like that glowy jade color, and she's really playful. Um, Nexus Whelpling, I've talked about them before, uh, especially in a lot of my Broken Isles tamers when I'm doing the dragon challenge, I say when in doubt, Nexus Whelpling out, because this Arcane Storm Mana Surge combo just destroys people. I have two power power breeds and one power speed breed, and the reason I have a power speed breed is because for Master Tamer Flummox, you need a power speed breed to beat him with the team that I had. Uh, power power uh, did not work, so definitely snag him now some other honorable mentions that i wanted to throw on this list uh the albino chimeraling now he is from the garrison mastering the menagerie when you do like your little fight club in the pit and he's a really hard hitting dragon with uh humanoid moves so he's strong versus dragons and he's also strong versus magic types and he can also be strong versus aquatic types so he's got a really diverse move set um, and a lot like the Bronze Whelpling, if you roll the SS breed, it does come at 325 speed, and you have the dodge on liftoff, where you can dodge big attacks. Like, you know, you got an Iron Starlet that's got supercharge and uh, wind up, <laughs> lift off, and he misses his attack. So, that'll do it for the dragons. Uh, really i love every single dragon like there's not a single dragon on this list that i don't really love i don't really like actually i don't really like the celestial dragon i probably just don't use him correctly but he doesn't have like a basic attack he's good to kind of synergize with other pets but he just doesn't have anything that hits enough to be considered a basic so that's why i don't really like him but everybody else just i'm trying to pick up every dragon but it'll be a long road before i'm there so that'll do it for the dragon types if you found this video helpful like ratings always appreciated it was a pleasure gaming with you have a great night